dear all, this problem has uh, arrived to me via email, so I decided to solve it for all of you. I'm not sure if my uh, sound is okay or not because I'm on the road. Uh, I just didn't want to wait for it. There's a problem uh, from the past exam questions that says B and C are given to B as you see given to be two ordered bases for a vector space and uh, the transition matrix from the base B to base C is given. Uh, the, the part A just asks for a vector so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, part B asks find the transition matrix from B prime to C and we are given a set B prime which, which still is a basis. Uh, it being a basis is given by uh, the problem to us, so we don't need to check that these vectors are linearly independent and or they span the uh, whole vector space. So I just need to find the transition matrix this from B prime to C. What does this mean? It means that when I am given a coordinate matrix from B prime, when I'm given a, uh, coordinates, of a vector in B prime, I want to multiply those coordinates from the left by this matrix so that I get the coordinates in C. So actually this matrix P should give me when, when I'm given the coordinates 1, 0, 0 from B prime, i.e. when I'm given the vector V1 plus V2, this matrix P should give me the coordinates of that vector in the basis C. So be careful here that the order of the vectors given is important. So what I'm looking for is a basis, uh, a matrix like this. This, as you see, in just the given order. B prime is an ordered basis. So I take the first basis vector of B prime. I look at the coordinates of that vector in C. I write them as a column vector here. And I do it for similarly for the other two vectors. So now I start with V1 plus V2. Now, I'm looking for the coordinates of V1 plus V2 according to the basis C, the ordered basis C. So I'm looking for the coefficients of W1, W2, and W3 in this order. So since this matrix is given to me, I know that the coordinates of V1 according to C are these vectors, A, these uh, coordinates A, B, and C, meaning that V1 equals V1 equals A times W1 plus B times W2 plus C times W3. So V2 also equals 2, and you check from the matrix, you will see that. D times W1, E times W2, F times W3. So when I combine these, arrange this linear combination, we see that the coordinates of V1 plus V2 in C is actually... A plus D, as you see, I get it from here. The coefficient of W1 is here, A plus D. Then B plus E, the coefficient of W2. And then C plus F, the coefficients of W3 in this vector. So likewise, we will go for the coordinates of w V1 minus V2, and then V1 plus V2 plus V3, etc. And then you will write them to the columns of this matrix. With the same starting, with the same bases B and C and this matrix P, the second question is asked, find the transition matrix from B to C prime, where C prime is just co consisting of W1, W2, W3, but in a different order. As you see, in C they were ordered as W1, W2, W3, but in C prime they are W3, W1, and W2. So what am I going to do? I am going to, to, to find here I have B, so I'm going for the basis vectors of B. I'm going for the coordinates of these vectors in this basis. So, which means from the matrix, we know that V1 is actually A times W1, B times W2 plus C times W3. When I put them in this order, what happens is this. I see C times W3 plus A times W1 plus B times W2. As you see, the coordinates of V1 according to the basis C prime become C, A, and B because the vectors are in this order, so that I write the coefficients of W3 first, then W1, and then W2 because of this given order. So I do the very same thing for V2, and then I will do the very same thing for V3, and then I will write these uh, column matrices inside the matrix. 
here the important thing is we are looking for the vectors from B, their coordinates in C prime. So, and we know that V1 is, if, if it is written like this, A, B, and C with these coordinates, V1 is uniquely represented using these, these three basis vectors. So, because V1 equals this, V1 never equals any other linear combination of W1, W2, and W3. This, is, this comes from the definition of a basis. Since C prime is a basis, there's a unique way of writing every vector as a linear combination of these three vectors. So I hope this helps you.